Did you know that plants are susceptible to diseases and exhibit signs and symptoms of distress? Hi, this is Lisa from LisaAndTheBeanstalk.com. Today, I am going to diagnose a sick plant. All right, here's another one. If you notice white spider webbing on your plant, it may not be spiders crawling on your plants. You might have a problem with spider mites. These are tiny bugs. They also suck the juice from the leaves. So be careful with spider mites. One thing you could do is to release praying mantis or ladybugs into your garden because those two those beneficial bugs they love to eat spider mites as well if your healthy plant suddenly starts to wilt the upright leaves will begin to fall downward like so the problem could be you are not giving it enough water. So what you want to do is fill a container with some water and quench your plant's thirst by giving it a healthy dose of water. If the leaves on your plant start to fade and turn yellow, it may need more sunlight. Sometimes you might have a tall tree that shades your plant or just may not be getting enough sunlight so you want to move it into a spot where it's receiving more sunlight remember plants vary and plants are different some prefer shade and others prefer sun so if your leaves start to look like this which means they're turning yellow you might need to put it in the sun give it a little bit more sunlight All right, if you are experiencing problems with your leaves and you start to see holes like this or half-eaten leaves, you may have a problem with caterpillars. That's right, caterpillars could be eating the leaves on your tree. Or snails and slugs could also be a problem. So what you want to do is flip those leaves over, watch out carefully. Slugs will feed at night. Caterpillars, however, will try to hide on the undersides of your leaves and sometimes even in between little crevices. Um, so you just want to pluck them off to get rid of them. All right, here is another one. If the soil in your containers are starting to develop a white film on the surface you could be over watering your plant in fact your plants are more than likely it was called water logged please cut back on watering your plants if you don't you could have the roots to uh, sit in nothing but water and your roots and your entire plant will eventually die if you continue to over water so cut back on watering your plants Another thing you could do is just take the tip of your finger and feel the surface um, of the soil. If the soil feels dry to touch, it's time to water. If it still feels moist, then do not water your plant. You don't want to overwater it. This is Lisa from LisaAndTheBeanStalk.com. Thanks for watching.